In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Windows Task Scheduler to control a TriCaster system. On the same page that you're watching this video, uh, you'll find a download link. Download the file there and copy it to the system that is going to be running Task Scheduler. Once you get it there, open this up, and inside you're going to find a couple things. Drag these somewhere on your system. I'm going to put them on my desktop. Uh, the PDF is instructions. Uh, same stuff I'm going through here in this video, just uh, you can read it instead. But the main thing is this TC Schedule folder. If you open this up, you'll see a few files inside. These are what we're going to use to uh, put into Windows Task Scheduler so that we can control the TriCaster. I have a, uh, a script to start the recording function, a script, script to stop the recording function, and another script that allows you to trigger any macro inside the TriCaster. So between these three things, you basically can make the TriCaster do uh, anything you want. Once you get them there, we're going to open up uh, Windows uh, Task Scheduler. You can do that through the Start menu, uh, All Programs, Accessories, uh, System Tools, and finally Task Scheduler you'll find in here. Uh, you can also search for this if you just type in the word Task. And Task Scheduler, just so you know, is also included with Windows XP and higher. So um, you can even use an older system to run this as well. Now, once you get Task Scheduler open, uh, you're going to see the Task Scheduler library, and if you open this up, there'll be uh, folders inside of this. And uh, you probably have some preset folders in there. Uh, I've created one in here called TriCaster, and this is where I'm going to store my uh, triggers in here. In fact, I'm going to clear out the one I have from before. I recommend that you do create your own folder, and you can do that just by uh, selecting the Task Scheduler library, right-clicking on it, and just choosing a new folder, giving it a name. You can call it anything you want, but uh, something that uh, is unique so that it will be easy to manage these, uh, these tasks that you put in there. Once you've created your folder, select it, and then in this area over here, if you right-click, you want to choose the option called Create a Basic Task. Uh, once you select it, a window will open up and it will lead you through step by step everything you need to do in here. So first we need to give this task a name, so we're going to call this one uh, Run a Macro. Uh, we'll hit Next. Then we're going to choose when this task is going to run. And you can choose uh, you know, to run this on a schedule or just a single time. Uh, I'm just going to say one time from this case in here. Hit Next again. Then you're going to use the time and date that you want to the, this to run. So let's say this is going to run on the 12th uh, at um, you know 1 p.m., let's say. Type that in. Hit Next. And then you're going to choose what it's going to do. Now, in here, we're going to choose Start a Program. And then we're going to give it the program details. Hit the Browse button. And then navigate to where you put that TC Schedule folder that you extracted. So again, on my system, it was on the desktop, uh, TC Schedule. There are the files in there. We, I was already kind of pointing there to start with. But um, you're going to then choose which one of these three that you're going to use. So if, if all you want to do is start recording, just choose this one. If all you want to do is stop recording, choose this one. Or if you want to trigger a macro, they could do uh, recording, streaming, or other functions, or a combination of functions, choose this trigger macro. And that's the one I'm going to use in this case. So I'm going to open this one up. And before we click Next, we have to add additional arguments in here. So all of the scripts are going to require the name or IP address of your TriCaster system. So you can get this from uh, from the computer or uh, from the, like you know my my network in there. Also, if you happen to be running a TriCaster Advanced Edition system, uh, there is a little question mark in the upper right corner of the interface. If you click on this, it will actually give you the name of your TriCaster. And as you can see, in my case, it's a TriCaster Mini. So I want to type in, in my case, TriCaster Mini. Now, if I'm only using the record functions, that's all I need to enter, and I can hit Next. But if I'm going to use the uh, trigger macro function, I do need to specify a macro name. Now, this can be really anything you want, uh, but it has to be a single word uh, with no spaces in it. Um, so I'm just going to call one called um, task macro, let's say. And now that I've got that entered, I'm going to hit uh, next. It's going to go to a final screen, giving me all the final details of what, what I'm going to do. And I'm going to hit finish. Now at this point, you see I've got my run a macro uh, in here. It's set ready to run tomorrow at 1 p.m. Um, if I'm going to be uh, using this to run a macro, I do have to do one extra step. I have to assign this 
uh, script when it runs uh, to trigger the appropriate macro inside my TriCaster system. So the way I would do that is uh, go into my TriCaster, uh, go to my macros and select the macro in question. So I'm going to use this macro right here and then select one of my triggers in here. So I'll select a trigger and then back while that's listening, back on my task scheduler software, right click on my task and choose run. And when you do that, you'll see a window pop up in task scheduler. Um, it says the trigger was executed. Uh, there's a little timeout just so you can kind of see that's what's going on in here in case uh, an error or something like that pops up. But if I look back over in my TriCaster, I can see that that task macro, you know, uh, that was the name I typed in there, if you remember, uh, has shown up now as a trigger. So at this point, uh, everything's ready to go. When one o'clock hits, this task will run and do the function. Now I'm going to just uh, run this early here, and you can do that again, if, especially if you just want to even test this ahead of time, just by choosing run again. And in my case, uh, this macro is going to trigger my downstream keyers on, uh, so you'll see this happen on the uh, the TriCaster interface here. So I'll hit run. You can see there my uh, downstream keyers came on with a little title in there, and uh, there is my TriCaster be con being controlled by Windows Task Scheduler.